So let's see how to solve this one. <coughs> so here, there is a base condition mentioned in the problem. And there is a case that we need to solve. So in the base condition, what is said is that we have a block of wood. Okay. And there is a bullet. Okay. Bullet fired from a distance at a velocity of 300 meter per second. And it's penetrates the wood up to a depth of 10 centimeter and finally it comes to rest. So when it finally comes to rest, the velocity will be zero. Okay. So the initial velocity is 300 meter per second and final velocity is zero. And it travels a distance of 10 centimeter. There are some more information that is given in the problem. One is the mass. Mass of the bullet is given as 81 gram which is 0 0.081 kg. Okay. And uh, in the second case, a block having 5 cm width is used. The same material and the same bullet is fired from the same distance at the same velocity. So here also u is equal to 300 meter per second. But here the difference is that as the material is only 5 cm thick, the bullet is going to emerge out from the other end. And let's assume that at the point when it was emerging out, it is having a velocity v. Here it was 0 but here it was v. So this is the condition that is given in the problem. So now let's see how to solve it. So we can use the work energy principle here. So work energy principle says that force times distance is equal to that is a work done is equal to half into m v square minus u square basically change in the kinetic energy because the object is in motion the energy stored will be kinetic energy so it's kind basically the change in kinetic energy. Now we need to think about the distance it is given 10 centimeter 10 centimeter we know that it is 0 0.1 meter so now we need to think about the force nothing about the force is mentioned in the problem so what approach is calculate the force and do the rest of the problem or what we can do is we can think about the forces in this system so here what we can see is that when this bullet hits this edge of the wood okay or the block a force is exerted okay so instead of using that force I am using a force which is called as the resistive force okay so when it hits it will be hitting with a force F and the force F will be in this direction and when it hits the surface there will be a resistive force and the effect of this resistive force is this object coming to the rest Okay, so I'm going to write in terms of the resistive force because that is what is asked in the problem. So I need to have some sign convention. So I'm considering this as my sign convention for writing this equation. So the force I'm representing is FR instead of F. And we know that F is going to be equal to minus FR because they are equal and opposite. So now I'm trying to write it. So FR. The direction is assumed, positive direction is to the right forces to the left so minus fr distance traveled is 0 0.1 meter in the positive direction from here to this point is in the positive direction so positive 0.1 is equal to half into mass mass is 0 0.081 v is 0 and u is 300 so i have this condition and from this I can calculate the value of FR and I'm going to get it as 36.45 kilo Newton. On substitution, I will be getting the values in Newton and converting it to kilo Newton, the more familiar unit for force. Now I'm going to use this particular base condition 
in here to solve for the v value. So here also I am going to use the same work energy principle. I want to calculate the velocity so work energy principle is the easier approach. So here also there will be the resisting force FR which will be equal in magnitude as this case because I have used the same wood the block is made of the same wood the force of resistance is going to be same because this force of resistance depends upon the material so FR is same so I'm going to use the same condition the work energy principle that is F into T equal to change in kinetic energy okay so here also I need some sign convention I am following the same thing that I used in the last case so I'm going to get minus FR because positive is to the right FR is to the left times the distance traveled is 5 centimeter 5 centimeter means 0 0.05 meters is equal to half times mass of the bullet is 0.81 kg it is given V square is the unknown minus U square it is given in the problem which is 300 square okay so the FR I can substitute from here I already have the value of FR which can be substituted here so I will be getting minus 36.45 it is kilonewton so that need to be converted to Newton to apply in this equation okay so into 10 raised to 3 into point not 5 is equal to half into point not 81 into V square minus 300 square so this I can solve so V square minus 300 square is equal to minus 36.45 into 10 cube into point not 5 divided by half into point not 81 from this I can get the value of V V square equal to this minus 300 square I can take to the right and on solving I am going to get the value of V as 212.13 meter per second and that's what the final answer is so here is one problem which is a demonstration of the work energy principle and again I'm repeating this is not the only way of solving it but if you are applying the work energy principle it is going to be the easiest approach okay so two things are asked in the problem one is the velocity at the time of exiting the timber block and the second one is the force of resistance that we have calculated here so these two becomes the result and that's the end of this problem